welcome you all after a short tea break to RISE 2023. Let us start our session, a very first keynote session on accelerometer driven machine application unleashing the power of motion by a renowned speaker, Professor Dr. Tan Tran, Fenica University, Vietnam. Let me go through his profile, a brief profile. Dr. Tan Tran is currently a professor and a dean at the Faculty of Electrical and Ele Electronic Engineering in Fenica University. Prior to joining Fenica University, Dr. Tan was an associate professor at Faculty of Electronics and Communication, VNU University of Engineering and Technology. He also served as Vice Dean of Faculty from August 2016 to May 2019. He has published over 150 research papers and has been awarded as a best paper in the International Conference on Multimedia and Obiquous Engineering, which was held in 2015. And uh, there was another international conference on green and human information technology. In the year 2008, he was recognized as an excellent young researcher by Vietnam National University, Hanoi. He has been awarded third prize as Vietnamese talent in the Vietnamese talent contest. His primary research interests include signal representation, signal processing, signal analysis, and communication in information and data sets. Tran is active participant in international conferences and journals by serving as a technical person, as a co-chair, technical committee member, track chair, session chair, and a reviewer. We are glad to have you as, uh, sir, the the dias and the mic is all yours. Kindly enlighten us with your keynote speak. We are really looking forward for a power pack session for RISE 2023. A big round of applause for us. Thank you. Good morning. The uh, distinguished professor, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, my name is Lipton Chen from Finica University. Uh, today I'm very happy to be here in the green campus in a warm environment in this room. I would like to present my talks with the title Asomapter Driving Machine Learning Application Unleashing the Power of the Motion. Firstly, I would like to introduce about myself. Now I'm the body of the electrical electronic engineering Penica <coughs> University. Uh, my research topic focus to signal of sensing beyond the uh, sensor and wireless sensor network, so on. And here is the, my uh, website, a uh, website of my uh, research group. With the name of the uh, research group is Mass Sensing and Application SXA Lab. This is some picture of some project we have uh, performed during more than 10 years. Uh, this is some key member uh, in our, our lab. I would like to thank them because they provide some material for this uh, presentation. So the topic here, uh, today the topic here is the astrometer. The astrometer is very popular. Uh, in many device, for example, uh, in our mobile phone, right? Very popular in mobile phone, and in on in the mobile phone, we have the many types of sensor, and we have the astrometer, we have the gyroscope, uh, microphone, camera, uh, GPS, so on. And today, I focus on the astrometer. Uh, astrometer and gyroscope is very important because it can measure the inertial information, it can measure the acceleration, it can measure the angular velocity, and the application very, there are many, many applications of astrometer and gyroscope. And 
In the some past years, I also focused to how to design and how to optimize the structure of the astrometer uh, during my uh, maybe three months in, in Japan. We have can fabricate a good sensor based on the piezo positive uh, effects. Today, uh, I will select three technical projects I have. Uh, uh, I and my research group have performed uh, during uh, 10 years. The first one is a motor set. Uh, the second one is the full detection. And the last one is calm monitoring. For the first project, I will exploit the information of the isometer in, in the mobile phone. The, the built-in sensor. It, in that, we do not use a new device. We just improve, we just uh, design an algorithm, uh, we get the embedded program and we, 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 we download to the uh, mobile phone that we can use. For the second project, uh, phone detection, we de develop a standalone device uh, for the people can wear it and to detect the phone detection. And for the last project, we develop not only a single device, we develop a wireless sensor network and the sensor here, once again, in the astrometer. And we can use the, 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 the wireless sensor network in order to monitor the cow behaviors. For the first project, motor set. In this kind of project, we develop uh, uh, some uh, signal processing model and machine learning model and we combine with the acceleration data from the viewing sensor, viewing sensor in the mobile phone. Uh, it will have the, the motorbikes uh, to, to, to charge us in shape. Uh, we know that in Vietnam, uh, the motorbike is very popular. Uh, also in, the, uh, in the India, I can see in the city there also there are many motorbikes. So one of the bad habits of the user when, the, when they're driving that they still use the mobile phone. And you can see that this girl in this picture, uh, they use the mobile phone while driving. It's very dangerous. So we developed an Android program with the, the name here, the Moto Set. The, the major uh, feature of this application is that it can automatically detect the state uh, of the user. And if the user, they, if the user it detects that they driving and they spin using the mobile phone, the the application will push the mobile phone into the silent mode. It means that the user cannot recognize if they have the phone call. And after that, automatically, message will send to the caller to say that I'm on, I'm on private. I'm on private. So, but if, if the user is a VIP, very important person, such as your boss, or your wife, or your girlfriend, the, the phone can still ring. But the user cannot answer the phone if they do not completely stop. And the application also can be fixed if an accident happens with the user. So the, the application will send the, automatically send a message to the relative person uh, with the information of the location of the accident. So if you uh, if you're interested with this software, you can scan the QR code and download in Chinese. So in this picture, this is the example of the Samsung mobile phone. You can see the many, many sensor here, and you can see here is uh, an ML, IMU, it means that inertia measurement unit. Uh, it consists of a accelerometer and a gyroscope uh, in this module, and we can use the acceleration data here. It can send the motion of the user, and we bring it into the uh, algorithm. Uh, we combine of the signal processing and uh, AI module in order to detect the status of the user. 
before we apply any any algorithm, any AI model in, into this uh, device, we need a carefully calibration in the picture. The 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 mobile phone is put into a calibration machine. After that, we have the, uh, some major characteristic uh, of the sensor we intend to use. Uh, and here is the, the flow chart of the uh, of, of, of the application. You can see here uh, we get the the data, the acceleration data from the three dimension. This Y and Z. Uh, after that, it, it brings to the recognition activity. It helps us to detect if the user is on the behind or not, on the behind or not. And if they detect in the, on the behind, we, we have the sum of following stuff. And for the right hand side, you can see it is the module in order to detect the, if an accident occurs. Uh, after that, we get the GPS location and send to your related person. Yeah. For for this kind of application, we do not we do, do not want to consume so much energy. So the flow charts, so the algorithm must be as simple as possible. So in this kind of linked application we we can classify the status of the user into three classes. The first one on the behind. The second one, not the behind, but with the high dynamics, such as running, walking, jogging, so on. And for the last uh, layer here, is not on the behind, but with the static movement, such as the device on the table, or we use the device to surfing in the internet, so on. And so, even that the model is very simple, but the accuracy, as you can see here, very good. And in the in this uh, picture, the left hand side, you can see uh, this is the data from the acceleration sensor, and it, it is uh, the status on the behind. And and if the on the behind appear here, the 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 phone automatically switch to the silent mode, and and the user can can see that you are on the behind. And for the next feature, you can see here, if the, an accident happened, uh, an automatically message will send to the related person and he can just click to this link and he can see where the user is, where, where the accident happened. We also have some video, but the time is limited. You can visit our, our research group and you can see some video about this application, what to say. For the next, for this, uh, we focus to the fall detection device. In this, for that, we we develop, we design a standalone, stand, standalone acceleration device. Uh, it combines of the acceleration sensor, uh, microcontroller, the power, and some RF module here. Uh, and when the the fall detection, uh, the, when it works, it, they can detect, they can. Can equip for the elderly, uh, for, 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 for the case the elderly at home alone, or uh, they can walk around. Uh, we can monitor, we can monitor if the phone even happen, and, and if the phone even happen, uh, the device will connect to the relative person to get help. This is the, the position of the the device we can we can get. We can wear it in the belt like this one, and uh, some uh, normal uh, behavior such as standing or sitting or when the, the elderly they, they get home. Right? They get home. Once again, we get the uh, flow chart. Right? We we the mic in the computer first. After that, we put it into the microcontroller. It consists of three parts. The first one is the phone detection module. The second one is the uh, post phone recognition module. It will have to increase the accuracy of the phone detection. Uh, in the third, in the third module here, um, we also you can see here we get the GPS location of the elderly when they get phone. 
and send the message to the to the relating person. You can see this a set of a set of threshold have been extracted and embedded to the microcontroller. It will reduce the power consumption and it ensures the real time implementation of the device. This is uh, some some typical behavior of the early such as walking, sitting, walking, lying, some the transition between these status here. Uh, this is the, uh, the acceleration signal from S5 and Z. This is. And we also we also check uh, our, our algorithm with two kinds of the data set. The first one is the public data set. This one, the data, data set is very famous. Everyone, every researcher in this field, they need to verify their model with this kind of data set. And for the second one, uh, we, 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 we got the 5 years data set, we use the device and we get the data from the, the volunteer, from our student and two elderly. Right? And we have the many kind of phone here, forward, uh, uh, many kind of phone and we need to separate the phone even with the, some normal uh, daily activity. And we we get the accuracy of 100% with both public data set and our five years data set. After that, if the, the phone detection even detects uh, the, the, the number of the relative person will be set uh, before we, we set up the device, after that, and the relative person will receive the full code if the, uh, if the elderly get full. We also have the demo below uh, go along with this project. Not only the, the sensor uh, in the mobile phone, not only the sensor in the single device, and in the third project we, we de develop a wireless accelerator network. Uh, in each, uh, in, in each uh, node of this network, we attach the device into the car. So it means that each, each car plays at a sensor node, and the car, when the car moves, it means that the sensor node moves also. And, and in this project, we try, we try to, to, to improve the quality uh, of the management of the car farm in order to increase the, the, the production and we, we increase the economic uh, e economic purchase for the farmer. Uh, and we can see that if the farmer knows the, the, the behavior of the cow well, say so they, they can improve the quality of the management. Uh, for example, if the, uh, the cow gets hurt, uh, the cow gets threatened, so on, the many activity you can see. So before we start, we need to compare. Uh, we need to compare with other solutions. For example, they can monitor monitor the cow behavior using the camera uh, or using the wearable device. You can see here some commercial products have been uh, have, have been sold here, uh, and the device can can the, the device can attack to the cow to the cow less or the cow next. You can see in in the picture. So in this project, uh, what we do here that we develop a sensor network by connecting the the acceleration movement from the legs and the acceleration from the next of the, the car. After that, the the data was sent to the gateway and sent to the to, to the server in order to monitor the car behavior. Here, this is the diagram uh, for the device uh, we attach to the legs of the cow, and here is the device we attach to the to to the cow next, and the the data, the acceleration data from the legs will send to the to the nose, and in 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 the leg in the next of the car we have the LoRa module here. It means that it play as a sensor node. Sensor node. 
and it's sent to the gateway. So the most important thing here that we need to synchronize, synchronize the data from the, the neck and the data from the, the leg of the cow. We know that in the communication system, the data can be lost. And we, and, we, and, and, and in this project, we propose the, a mechanism, an, an approach in order to, to synchronize the, the data from the, the neck and the leg in order to provide the information good enough to the uh, behavior detection model. Yeah, it, it, it is the real uh, picture of the, uh, the cow where our device, the, the sensor from the left, it connects to the sensor from the, the neck of the cow. After that, a synchronized data frame was sent to the, the gateway. It is a yellow cow, Vietnamese cow. And after that, we, after we get the data from the cow, we, we, we check with uh, some machine learning model in order to find the, the best model that's suitable with the real-time classification. After that, we, we choose the random forest model you know, for, for the real-time implementation. Uh, and in this project, we focus to four uh, fundamental for important behavior of the cow. That is feeding, lying, standing, and walking. It is the definition of the behavior. And this is the example of the frame that the, the gateway received from the one sensor node. Um, this is uh, the data from the left, from the color image from the next of the cow. Uh, in, in this device, we get the acceleration in three dimensions, and I mentioned before. And we, we have the small farm and we have a far cow. And this is the number of the data for the chilling and statistics. And in this project, because we, we get the synchronized data frame, it means that for we, we, we need only three features for the classification. It means that we will not consume many power many energy for, for this device. So the, uh, for the light half of the device will be extended. And here is a, the, the performance matrix of the uh, model. You can see the accuracy, the sensitivity, and PPV information. And uh, when we combine the data of the leg, of the left and the next, the quality of the classification is very, very good. Uh, it good, the good, if not enough, we also compare uh, with the previous work. Uh, in the previous work, we, we, they have a different technology. Uh, for example, they, with the different number of the behavior you can see here. Uh, the window length is very important for the implementation of the classification. And the last column here is the methods used for X for Z, and our study gives the best performance compared with other work. So I think this is the conclusion of my uh, research group. I, I do hope that after this uh, presentation, I will have uh, some uh, contact from you for the further cooperation in the future. Thank you very much. If you have any comment or question, please. You can see that uh, in the uh, in the real application, there are some similar applications. For example, the Samsung, the Samsung also have developed some solution for 
the mood to buy. Uh, for, the, for example, they, they, we can use the application from Samsung or Samsung attach some device for the helmet for in the India markets. I know that, but it only for Samsung. Only, only for Samsung. If, if I use the uh, LG or Sony, we can cannot we cannot use this kind of application. So in this project, we we develop an Android application that every every mobile phone can use. Yeah. Uh, do you have any error rate in the uh, motor safe application? Sorry, sir. Error, error. <coughs> do you have any error rate? Uh, measured in the motor safe application because you have mentioned like 100% accuracy is achieved. Yes. Yeah. 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 It, it not 100. Is it motor safe? Not Yeah. It's good enough, but not 100. Not some days, some days mentioned. Uh, uh, yeah. For the for the not on the vehicles, 100. Yeah. We we have three. Three layers here. The first one, not only high with the dynamic, high dynamic activity. Next, not only high with the lower dynamic activity. Any other questions from student? Because the topic was very. Important. Not only question, also comment. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, as I see, you um, you are like a wearable uh, device for the call, right? Yes. So uh, as I have on my experience, that's that uh, for the device because we need to make it um, sleep for a while, a long time because of energy saving. Yeah. So it not it cannot work continuous continuously. So what is your trade off between that? I mean, uh, you you try to save the energy, so you send less data, but you send less data. You need some model needs monitor, monitor for, for detected the behavior, right? Yeah. So, yeah. How, 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 can you give your comment? Yeah, yeah. This is a very good question. Uh, it means that if you send the raw data to the server, it will consume many uh, energy. But in in our model, in the future, in the future, we do not we do not need to send the raw data. Uh, we do not need to send the raw data. Why? Because in this classification model, we, we use a random forest. It means that random forest can be embedded into the microcontroller. It's a very important feature of our device. It means that we do not send the raw data. We send the result of the classification. So it means that maybe, maybe at the end of the day, we send the data once. So we can reduce the, the, the power consumption very much. Yeah, one more question from Vietnam side. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I, I think that it's very interesting that the, uh, the combine between the uh, you know IoT technology with uh, some application, and uh, and just back to the real time with the uh, mobile uh, auto. Uh, auto second. Yeah. So uh, you know the real time actually the um, it depends on the it very sensitive with the time. Delay. So, so what exactly the, the the deadline or what exactly the threshold for for the time with the program? Yeah, the the delay time here only zero point five second. Zero point five second only. Zero point five seconds. So uh, because the classification model here is very 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 simple. The decision tree only. So very fast. So, so, so mean that it do not apply to any IoT system, right? Just no. It take based on the devices. Yes. So, uh, so yeah. the real hard classification. Normally, you know, like microcontroller only run only one pass. So that it means the highest priority. So normally, so it is a real time. Yeah. Right. So is there something different with the original? Uh, original uh, uh, processing uh, with the uh, with the proposal because the real time should be like for example original one uh, they have only it take about one second 
But if applied, this may be 1.5 seconds. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So the requirement of real time depends on the application. For example, if you have the, uh, if, you, if you need to the position of the missile, so the, the requirement of real time very harsh. But in this kind of application, the real time 0 0.5 is good enough. Thank you. Any more questions? Because our young generations. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. The the, the person over there. Any question? Oh. So my other question, simple question, is that how would the sensor differentiate between like a person is reading horizontally or is resting? How would the sensor differentiate between that, uh, like, uh, is he fallen or is, uh, is he resting or sleeping? Like you said that in uh, older persons or in <coughs> elder persons, that it will detect if the person has fallen or uh, is, had, uh, is he met uh, within the accident. How would the sensor differentiate between that he has not fallen or he is sleeping or resting? Yeah, you mentioned to the second project, right? Yes. In, in the phone detection, you can see here. Uh, so, in, in this, uh, for this uh, we know that for the real life, we have the many kind of the activity. Yes, yes. We have the many kind of the activity. And in this project, uh, there is the number, uh, is the number of the activity uh, we test. In the future, uh, we, we may test with the more or uh, more complex activity. So I think that with the more complex activity, the accuracy will be due. We know that. But we, after that, we, we, we can improve our uh, step by step. So the quality of the sensor is very important. If we, we, if we buy the sensor from China, so the quality is not good. But for, for sensor from the analog device or some, or some famous uh, company, so the quality is very good, especially for the acceleration that provide for the UAV or missile, so the quality of sensor is very good for us. So in, in the past, in the past, when, when, we try to, when we try to buy the sensor from some Europe company, we, saw, we, we need to sell some food that we just use for the education. So after that we can get the, the sensor with the good enough quality for the for the, some technical for this. Thank you. That was a wonderful session. Uh, that was really a wonderful session by Dr. Tang Pran, sir. Because uh, probably the questions are not there from the very young generation behind. Uh, because sensors are going to be installed and the sensors are going to coordinate with their mobile phones. I uh, request Professor uh, Pradeep Kumar sir to take dais. Yes. Right. Uh, this I would like to put in five points that what sir has conveyed through his keynote. That he, he would like to bring a light on uh, the importance of accelerometer in motorbike. What is the exact role is there and, and the, there is a lot of research scope is there. Uh, as far as accelerometer are considered in order to monitor the cow uh, behavior whether it is walking or, or standing various postures and the very very important aspect he has covered through his speech uh, is that uh, elderly peoples they suffer many injuries when they fall 
and uh, we have co and they have come out with uh, a cost effective very uh, cost effective system which can uh, detect the posture of the elderly person that was really wonderful and um, uh, and that's it uh, because uh, um, certainly the sir uh, session has uh, opened up many research ideas among the young uh, generation who are seated over here sir. thank you one that's very good a very big round of applause for sir <laughs> now i request now i request um vijendra kumar solanki sir to kindly felicitate our uh, speaker keynote speaker with a uh, shawl and a book momento it's a small <coughs> small uh, deliberation i should tell a gesture or a gratitude from alana azar national university and the department of computer science we are really honored to have you as a keynote speaker from the other continent thanks for associating with us now because we already had a very uh, packed session since morning can we get back uh, can we come together for a group photo as a mark of memory after the photo session i request all the students faculties the other members the participants to kindly gather back in the same hall for uh, technical sessions we are going to have paper presentations by eminent people who are going to showcase their research we are going to have a session both in the conference hall and the seminar hall so we kindly request you to come back as early as possible